Hey guys, I hope you're doing well and well, welcome back to my channel. I've literally recorded this intro like three times now because apparently I cannot talk today. But yeah, today I'm finally filming my what I got for Christmas video. I am very sorry this is going to be up a bit late. I was so dead from everything that obviously went on during Christmas week. I was like traveling and stuff and like yeah, I was just totally wiped out this weekend. Hence why this, uh, this is a bit late but I know a lot of you guys wanted to see this and I thought it would be fun to film as well. Um, yeah i'm really happy and grateful for all the gifts i received this year so i'm wondering what to start with i have a lot of stuff uh actually i'll start with some clothing bits that i received um i got these from my parents i think i've already shown them anyway on my instagram because i couldn't help it and obviously the first one being is this jumper i got a few jumpers from wc japan which is one of my favorite clothing brands ever i really love just how like all of their clothes are just not not simple but i love all especially their print design sweaters i have a lot of their jumpers i love their skirts as well i really like how they fit and like the the quality is pretty good the only thing is um buying from them to be honest any like online japanese store is very expensive and for three jumpers with shipping and customs it cost 130 pounds like oh my god i feel so bad for my parents like what well, it was it was my dad who paid yeah uh because we're normally me and my brother were normally like allowed to pick kind of like a main gift thing and like you know i didn't i did not think it was going to come to that much at all but hey ho shipping customs conversion rates are a bit crap right now so yeah the first one i got was this dinosaur jumper i have been after this for ages like i love all their dinosaur stuff i have the yellow dinosaur backpack so i really want to come up with like a cool look it's actually it's this one here and there was another one i tried to order but unfortunately it was uh sold out and i don't, didn't think i was going it's actually but i was very surprised to open my parcel since sat inside and yeah i got two more jumpers the first one being is this really nice um lavender uh sweater with this really cool like milk carton print all over it i love like the the red on the purple i have a thing for purple like whether it be dark purple or like pastel purple i have a thing for purple right now so i've been like wanting more purple stuff in my wardrobe and this is not on the hanger anymore, so yeah oh this is actually back to front saying that uh, <laughs> this is actually quite big for me this is a bit big this is a bit bigger like obviously everything's one size but some of the jumpers do vary in sizes and like normally they fit me okay they're always like a bit like baggy but that's to be expected and i quite like that so i will like i've got this tucked into a skirt now and i will tuck this into like a white pleated um tennis skirt as well but like these are also really good if you just want like Comfy and casual, ca camp comfy and casual days. I really can't speak today. And the other jumper I got, it's another purple one. It's another dinosaur one. Oh, this is so cute. I wanted one that was a bit more plainer, a bit e easier to style. And yeah, it's another sweater. This is a bit thinner than the other two. These are a bit like thicker, so they're probably good for autumn, like winter, if you like lay up and stuff. Um, this is kind of like my staple anyway and it's got a little embroidered dinosaur on the front and i i'm not even gonna try and like <laughs> i'm not even gonna try and pronounce that but yeah i really like the white and the pastel purple combination i wanted some more white in my wardrobe like i, I avoid white tops or like white jumpers which are just white because i wear makeup i have hair dye like it's just not a good combo but i figured because this isn't like white on the collar line it should be okay so i quite like this uh, actually and um, yeah i think all of these jumpers were in the price range of about two thousand to four thousand yen like i said i got these three things i think the order itself totaled like 90 pounds it's crazy like i don't remember wc stuff being that expensive like it's not really expensive i just think the conversion rate for me is being in the uk is a bit bad right now thank you brexit <laughs> but re regardless i'm very happy with those and i'm gonna be wearing a lot this winter and just forever because i love my clothes i think i'll just carry on the other some other stuff i got from my parents too uh what should i go oh i know what to go for okay so there's something inside this which i think i'll show first which is very special uh yeah my mum like did this as like a combination present for me and steven 
and my mom is an artist uh, she does a lot of watercolor paints so it's kind of where I get like my artistic flair from I think and I do drawing too I don't do it, do it as much now but I would like to get back into it and she painted this really okay I need to hopefully you can see this uh, yeah it's in a frame so it's a bit reflective painting okay I'm actually going to cover this bit which I realized I didn't censor that bottom bit out when I posted it on my stories but that kind of reveals I do with where I live probably shouldn't say that but I'm just gonna cover that just in case so it says something the five because like there's like five of us I mean as in our animals so that's that is Gatsu <laughs> playing a guitar and then our rats Cosmo Nimbus, Nyx and Artemis. I love this. It's so cool. She's kind of like, she said that she did it when she was thinking about what they might like do when we're like not there at home, which I think is so cute and it's really pretty. I'm really sorry. It's quite hard to show, but yeah, my mom is like so talented and I love her so much. Like my parents, this is a whole thing, but like, we've not always had the best relationship, but I really feel like things have gotten better in the past few years, and yeah, I, I don't know, it's just a really, like, this is the kind of stuff, obviously now being out of, I like to receive for life at Christmas, of course I'm very grateful for everything else, but like, this really means a lot, and um, yeah, this, this year has been like a massive, or like the past two years have been like a massive, like, stepping stone like in my life so i'm really excited to put this up in our house somewhere the next thing i got was it's an alien thing it's a blanket i haven't actually folded this out yet but um you can see from the label that that's like the little hood bit and then the blanket bit is like inside oh my god look at that oh i love blankets like i have a whole pile in the corner of the room there so i probably don't need any more blankets but yeah, no, I'm I'm very grateful for this. It's really cool. I love this. Oh my god, this is gonna keep me snuggly this winter. A few other little bits I received from them was firstly this really like fancy tea thing. Uh well the uh the tea itself is just Earl Grey, which is what what which is one of my favourites, which is kinda weird because I've got her like a cute little tea thing as well, my my mum. Um, but yeah, it's from Buckingham Palace. Obviously, I think she got it because it's uh, pink. But yeah, this tin is like hella fancy. And even when I'm done with the tea bags, I'm definitely gonna be uh, I'm definitely gonna keep this. I've been dying to open this and try on, but I've like been kept. I've kept everything in like bags just so it was like contained, and I, I knew where to find everything. But yeah, this is really pretty. She also found me this cool Snorlax mug. I really like this. This is super cool. And I also got some cute pushing socks because yes, everybody needs more pushing socks in their life. And I also got, um, this is kind of a joke thing. I mean, not that I'm really like, I mean, I know I'm like 20, I'm nearly 24 now, but every year my mom gets me or my brother like the pokemon annual we've literally been collecting these these since like 2007 now so it's kind of become like a running joke so um i always have to have a pokemon annual saying that i think they're quite cute and fun and i quite like reading stories and doing the puzzles in them so hey ho and the last thing i'm going to show like from my parents actually this was technically to like uh that they gifted to Stephen, but I mean, I'm also very much going to appreciate this too. And it's this really cute Pokemon Quest, uh, like block figure thing. Now, these aren't like Funko Pops, I mean, they're clearly inspired by them. And I'd actually been looking for these because I wanted the Gengar one because there's also Eevee, Snorlax, and Gengar. But she obviously thought that she would get a lost Pikachu. It's really cute. I haven't taken them out of the box yet, but I really like. I really like what they look. That's a great descriptive term, but yeah, because they've also got others. And no, I think these are really cool, and this will look pretty awesome in our like little display case. Okay, uh, what should I go for next? Aha! I got a couple of things from my brother. The first thing being, which I mean, you've already seen them. When he went to the Pokemon Center pop-up in London when it was open, um, 
basically like i like he had a spare uh, slot in his basket because they had like a limit and i was like oh can you give me like one thing so he got me the polka doll bulba song because this was one of the things i wanted and we all know what happened when i tried to go <laughs> we're not even gonna go into that now but yeah he was very kind and picked this up for me i'm massive lo like lover of obviously plushies but when it comes to pokemon ones i'm very like not snobby but i'm picky and i only get like Pokemon sent official ones and I especially love the Pokedoll line. I think I've talk talked about this before but I love just how chibi and the big eyes and I would love the whole like starter set from Kanto. I'm not particularly Gen 1 girl but I really like Bulbasaur and look at the even the label is freaking adorable I love it and he's so cute look at his little face and he's really soft as well he's got his little bulb there no he's really nice i'm really happy that i have him and something else i got from him uh i also i did already know about this as well i was on twitter one day and i saw a tweet from Forbid forbidden planet and they had a new book in stock and it was a persona 5 animation artwork book and he lives in london and he works like in central so um he took like a walk down to forbidden planet which i'm so jealous of like i mean i like where i live now but it must be cool being able to just like walk down there on your lunch break and he picked it up um he picked it up for me from forbidden planet this weirdly looks bigger on camera like for an art book it's quite like small and i like that because i have a lot of like anime art books and they're a lot like taller and stuff and like bigger but i really like this yeah so this is the artwork not of the video game but of the animation because there's a p5 anime that me and steven did watch earlier this year after we completed p5 it's so cool and the dust jacket on the front is actually come off and then on the actual cover it's got like the sketched version of the cover which is really sick and it's all like red and black obviously and then i'm just gonna like see it has all the obviously character designs from all the like characters and then it has like it's just so nice storyboard stuff for further back yeah it's quite hard to show like books and stuff oh it's really cute that was a very bad way to show you i'm sorry yeah this was 29.99 i think you you can get it cheaper online um but i was like please get it for me now before it like i don't know sell that because i was really desperate for it but no yeah this is really nice and me and steven have both been having a really nice time and looking through this together Carrying on with the Persona theme, um, something I got from Steven, my wonderful boyfriend, was Persona 4 Golden. Yeah, I've been after this for a long time and he managed to find me a copy in CX. Now, the thing is, um, you can get it on the PlayStation Store for literally like £8, but I wanted the physical copy, which literally was like nearly 30 which, I mean, I feel bad about, but he wants me to like, I mean, I am a physical game collector so i really am happy that i have the actual game itself i mean obviously it's from cx so it's not in like top top quality but it's okay i'm still happy to have the actual game and i've uh, i did start playing it and so far i'm really enjoying it i'm really hoping this will like tide me over until like p5r r is out saying that Tokyo Mirage Sessions, which is a crossover between Persona and Fire Emblem, is out like next month. So I'm gonna have my birthday. So let's hope I can complete a decent chunk of this before that comes out. Cause yeah, I've seen not we didn't watch a whole gameplay, but we saw quite a lot of it. So I know the ins and out of this one, and I've played Persona 4 Dancing All Night, I actually got this like way before like I got or like played P5 weirdly like I've always been into like the Persona series but it's only been since like last year that I've really like been playing like the main games which is really stupid of me because freaking Persona has like, now become like one of my favourite franchises ever and P5 is definitely like one of my top video games like of the decade like yeah I'm gonna stop running rambling about Persona because I will be here all day and also a few fun gifts i got from steven's family so basically they do like a secret santa thing 
so way back in like november we all like drew someone and i got his mum and his gran actually got me she's really really sweet like um we all did like a little wish list thing and we like put down a few items that that we wanted i think the, the budget was like 20 pounds and like i didn't expect like even if i didn't get that i didn't really mind like it was fine but no, I got a few other cute things too, which was really, really nice of her. Um, I did get some chocolates, but Steve has been munching those as well. Um, look, there's a really cute shop in town here called like Neon Sheep, and they sell like really cute like novelty gift things. And one thing I got this really sweet K. I'm actually gonna get an S, so we can have an S and a K stood up in the front room. It's glittery. <laughs> I opened this, I was like, oh, glitter! Started shaking it. Yeah, it's really cool. And I might just like, no, there is no room. I was gonna like prop this up here, but there is like no room for that. So, you know, and I also got an another mug, much to Stephen's dismay, cause he freaking hates, he doesn't hate mugs. I just have a lot of mugs, but yeah, I love mugs. So what can I say? I drink tea and coffee like every day. And I got some really cute, like, I, I, I think it's a bear or something, but I mean, she probably saw it, it was like, it's pink. Katie will like that, which is very true, because I've kind of been eyeing up these things in the uh, store, but I was like, no, I don't need them, but they're like these really cute like, little gifts, and I've been wanting to use smug, but it's been waiting to film this video, but now I can. And the last thing I got, which was one of the, which was the thing like on my wish list, basically I put four plushies down. I put a mug kit plush, a sobble, and a leafy on, the ditto leafy on one, and then finally I put a patchy Reese down. So I got a patch of Risu. I thought it would be fun because then I, I wouldn't know which one I was going to get. It's shocking. <laughs> I, I didn't really, for some reason, I didn't think when I was like, opening them, they were all wrapped in really like pretty pink tissue paper. I was like, no, I don't think I've gotten a plushie. That's fine. And then I picked it up. I was like, I can see an eye. Everyone was laughing because I was like, I got so excited. It's like, ah, patch of Risu. Like, obviously... Apart from Steven, no one else knew what the heck it was. I was like, oh yeah, this, I was like, this is a po it's, it's, po it's Pokemon blush called Pachirisu. I'm a really squishy tail. Oh my god. This is from the All Stars collection because they have obviously loads of different collections in the Pokemon Center. Like, that was total fail, but yeah, Pachirisu is really cute and I'm. But after this plush robot, it's really soft and nice, and I don't know where I'm gonna fit it on my cubes because I'm literally running out of room. I have a problem, I know. Gosh, I think that's like pretty much everything I received for Christmas this year, and I'm very, very grateful for all for all the wonderful gifts that I got. Um, I like Christmas because I like being able to choose gifts and like give back to like family and friends and stuff and we went down to see my family on Christmas day so I got to see them for a bit which was nice and then we also spent some time with Steven's family which was nice too but like I said Christmas is difficult for obviously many reasons to do with mental health stuff but um it was still a nice time despite that and yeah I can't believe it's over for like another year like I feel like December is kind of like it feels like a long time coming like the build-up is like quite slow and then you click your fingers and it's done with and like it's new year's eve tomorrow so you know we will be saying goodbye to 2019 um yeah i i mean i can't believe it's almost 2020 now like this decade is almost over i've been doing like a lot of things on my twitter where i've been like picking out like fa favorite games and stuff of the decade yeah i don't know i've I just can't believe this year is like basically over and if you have any kind of like I hate the term like resolutions but if you have any goals or aims for the new year then I would be really happy to hear them in the comments and also tell me what you received for, for Christmas as well I think this is probably going to be my last video of the year so if it is I just well it, it will be because tomorrow is New Year's Eve and I'm pretty sure I'm not going to film again tomorrow I just wanted to say thank you so much for all your love and support on the channel this year like yeah I'm just overwhelmed I'm always so surprised that people still come back to watch my content like every time I upload I think we yeah we just hit 5,000 subscribers which is amazing and like I know in terms of like YouTube like it's not like mind-blowing or anything but to me that's more than I could ever ask for my Instagram like is doing pretty well and like I just I don't know it's 
I just receive so much love and support on there and it just blows my mind to be honest because I'm I am just a girl with pink hair who posts cute pictures of stuff that she gets and fashion stuff and like I just it's really nice that you take the time out of your day to like my stuff comment on a video to watch something like it really means the world to me I really do put my heart and soul into this and I really want to try next year to make even better content for you guys. Oh, so yeah, if you managed to uh, sit through that extra ramble at the end, then thank you very much. Like I said, I hope you guys all have a wonderful new, new year's and I will see you all in 2020. I love you all very much and I'll see you soon. Bye!